there it is. The lazy answer to entities and UFOs and supernormal phenomena in general that I'm always seeing. The easiest way to dismiss this stuff is to just dismiss all anecdotes, which as a drug writer really drives me crazy. The most important things we know about drugs are through the anecdotes. The peer-reviewed literature is useless for how you actually use this stuff. Um, but more importantly is how science works in general. What is, I think the best thing to look at is biology and how we say things are true in biology. What's the life cycle of a meerkat like? It's a bunch of people's anecdotes put together. So many anecdotes that after a time it becomes a, a field and a scientific truth about this is how they mate. Uh, it's even more true for whales because we see so a few whales that everything we know about whales is based on sometimes a couple hundred stories total. And uh, that's the same thing going on with this supernormal phenomena. If you want to see how many people have seen a certain thing, look up the great airship mystery of 1896. Tens of thousands of people from New York to San Francisco saw the same thing with an airship before there were planes in the sky uh, that had humanoid creatures on it. This was reported on all over the country. And there are lots of things like this. This is just one of the most famous and easy ones that you can look up. But there is a hugely documented field here of people telling these stories at great personal risk for themselves. When you dismiss these anecdotes, the people who tell these anecdotes get vilified. They don't get good things out of it. Even the winners who get famous um, and their books get kind of well read, like they lose family members, they lose respect in the communities. It becomes hard for their kids at school like to be one of these people. Um, I don't have an entity encounter of my own, or I would try to be brave enough to share it on here. Um, but you all would fucking laugh. A lot of people would just laugh me off, even though this is what I experienced. And a lot of other people have. That's the thing. We have so many anecdotes. Before you dismiss the anecdotal data, read a little bit of them. Read that Jacques Vallée book I said with just a 10 year span of how many different people have seen and interacted with entities. It's a ton more than you know, and good, honest people with physical evidence, with stuff happening to their cars, with impressions getting left that the police saw. Oftentimes it is police seeing this stuff. There's a lot of physical evidence of stuff not inside people's heads. There are physical reactions that happen, and this field is just so much bigger than anyone who dismisses it as anecdotes do, and it just is so fucking lazy. And that's basically my comment to so many people on this last video is lazy. Because if you're not even going to bother to look, then I think you're like a climate denier. Where you're like, oh, humans aren't causing climate change because I said so. Because you won't interact with the data that exists. And if you just want to dismiss all the data and never look at it, sure, go ahead, live your life. No one's going to live or die by this entity's thing. But to sit there and deny it when you've never even looked at it is just so fucking lazy.